Pause recording. Hello there. In today's video, we are going to learn how to install IBM TTS on your PC. As I had told you in the previous video that when you install NVDA, you have eSpeak TTS set by default. And it sounds something like this. Search or enter web address edit. Search or enter web address. So this is our IBM TTS. Uh, sorry, this is our um, eSpeak TTS and we want IBM TTS which is not actually present in our computer. So we need to install this. Now, earlier we used to make use of blindhelp.net in order to install this but because of some changes that blindhelp.net went through, I am unable to find the file on that website and hence I am going to provide you with a link with a link which will enable you to install the TTS. In order to install this TTS, first of all click on your start window, type E that is going to help you to find Microsoft Edge. If you don't get it with E then go for D and so on. You will surely find Microsoft Edge, click enter and the focus will automatically land in the search edit. Search or enter web address edit. And here you have to paste or type out the link which I will be providing in my YouTube's description box. And if you are unable to access uh, my YouTube's description box using the laptop, then at the end of this video, I will make sure to provide you with a character by character link, a uh, verbal link audio so you will hear the entire link which will be read aloud to you by my talk back no next heading. Search or enter web address edit. so here i am going to enter my web url new tab page offline focus redirected here new tab document search or enter web address edit. D. pause recording blank H ping search one of three. H ping search one of three. D D M M H P H T T P ping search S P S colon slash slash D R I V E drive dot G O O O O G L E D dot Pause recording. So as I type here, if I down arrow, IBM TTS Google Drive HTTPS slash slash. I can see this IBM TTS li link which I am going to click on. But you won't get this link until you have searched for it. So because I had searched for it in my recent history, I am going to get this link. Because this link is not so popular, you won't get this link. Okay. So you will have to type it out. Or if you have been using uh, your PC for a long time, you can also, you can uh, instead of typing out or pasting the link, click on the link in the description box directly using your laptop. So I'll just click enter here. Loading page. Loading complete. Drive.google.com. Heading level one. You're not connected. And the web just isn't the same without you. Let's get you back online. Pause recording. So there was some network issue. Now here. Toolbar. Download button. We simply have to click on the tab key once. And you get the download button. And you have to simply click enter here. The loading page. Still loading. Tab bar tab control tab action untitled tab new tab app bar tool view cited address and search bar search landmark collapsed search or enter web address control plus L selected HTTP. 
I am just clicking my tab key. At this page, the vet split screen favor with slot collections, browser reset profile, settings and restore pages. Close loading complete. Downloading IBM DTS.zip 8.7 MB. Restore button 1 of 1. Close button. Restore button. Close button. Restore button 1 of 1. Now here I will simply press Ctrl plus J. Downloads. Recent downloads list IBM DTS.zip 0B slash S 8.7 MB of 8.7 MB 1 of 1 level 1 IBM DTS. So here when I press Ctrl plus J I get the, uh, the list of all the downloaded items. So if you were to download any application from your browser you will also uh, be shown the status of that application that how much it has been downloaded or it is in the process of downloading and you can use your arrow keys to navigate through the table. Now we can see that our IBM TTS has been downloaded fully and so I am simply going to press Windows plus E to go to my uh, file explorer. File Explorer window, items, view list, frequent folders, grouping, expanded, desktop, not select E, download, throw to 2 of 29. I am going, I pressed D one more time and I got my downloads. If you don't get it, then you have to tab, click your tab key until you get the quick access menu. Click on the down arrow and use your right, left, up and down arrow to find the downloads button. I mean the downloads folder and click enter. Tree view items view list today grouping expanded IBM TTS not selected row one column one one of one hundred and eighty two last month today grouping expanded IBM TTS so this is IBM TTS I have to click on control and space bar together space not selected space selected and this will enable me to select IBM TTS now I'll simply click on my applications key. And if you don't have an applications key, so you have to click on Shift F10. Context menu. Open O. Open in new share with extract all. D. Here I'll click on extract all. So since this is a zip file, I'll have to extract it. I'll click enter. Download extract compressed zipped folders. Files will be extracted to this folder. Edit Alt plus F selected Z. Users fat browse. Button Alt plus R. I'm clicking tab over here. Show extracted files when complete. Checkbox checked Alt plus. Extract button completes the wizard Alt plus E. Here I'll find the extract button and click enter. Note that when you click on your applications key, use your down arrow to navigate. Unavailable. Cancel button exit. 95 but IBM TTS window. Tree view items view list. IBM TTS V23.02.1 IBHP not selected. One of one. So this is my file. I'm again going to click enter on this file. Download throw. Downloads window items new list today grouping expanded IBM TTS row one column one one of one hundred and eighty items new list IBM TTS V twenty three point zero two point one IBHP not selected one of one. This is my file one of one. Here I'm going to click enter. So first you have to go to your downloads. You have to see that you you get your file. And then you have to click enter there and then you will get this one of one option where you have only one file within the folder in which you have extracted. So you have to click enter. Selected. Items new list blind help homepage not selected one of five. So here you have five files. And here I am going to click on IBM TTS file. I am currently using my down arrow to navigate. Get more software to IBM TTS v This is my file. I am going to click enter here. 
add-on installation dialog are you sure you want to install this add-on? Only install add-ons from trusted sources. Add-on. IPMTT. And here I have got an alert. I'm going to use my tab key to go to the yes option. Yes button alt plus y. And click enter. I restart NVDA dialog changes were made to add-ons. You must restart NVDA for these changes to take effect. Would you like to restart now? Yes button alt plus y. So now you have to restart your NVDA. Here you have to click enter on your yes button. And here my NVDA has restarted. Now what you have to learn is how to change or switch. Please wait. How to change, change or switch your synthesizers. Here before teaching that I will show you. This is my control key. And I have my caps lock key. So if I click my control and my caps lock key together. And then I click a right arrow, right boost off. read boost off, which will enable your text to speech engine to speak very fast. Pitch 40. Pitch 40. I could increase or decrease my pitch using my up and down arrow. Pitch 35. Pitch 40. Inflection 75. Again, I'm clicking my right arrow and I reached inflection. I could again change this using my up and down arrow. Volume 100. Volume 100. Volume 95. I again use my up and down arrow. Voice English Great Britain. Even if you want to change this voice English Britain, you have to use your arrow keys. And note that I have clicked on my control and caps lock key and I have not left them. I am holding them till now. Variant Robert. Variant Robert, you can change that. Rate 30. Rate 30. Rate boost off. Rate boost off. And we are uh, navigating through this menu once more. After you are done with the desired settings, you can leave the, those two keys and you will automatically exit the menu and you can perform this action anywhere if you are whether you are in YouTube, WhatsApp or whatever. Now, you can do this with any synthesizer whichever you are using and now we are going to change our synthesizer to our desired synthesizer which is IBM TTS. To do that, we will click on our control key. I mean, we will hold these three t keys together. Control insert S. So I'll first click my, I mean, no, it's insert control S. So I'll click my insert key, control key S. Select synthesizer. Here you have to click on down arrow. This is my IBM TTS. I'll click enter. IBM TTS V23.02.1 by BHP window. Items view list. IBM TTS V. And here my IBM TTS has started working just fine. As I had told you, you can perform the previous action, which was clicking the control and the caps lock key to change the synthesizer settings. You can do that with this TTS also. Like, let's see. Pitch 65, inflection 30, volume 92, voice American English, volume 92, volume 97, volume 100, volume 95, volume 100. So that is how you can make use, you can make use of IBM TTS and install IBM TTS. So this was it guys for today's video. And before going make sure to hear the url of the website which will be provided to you at the very end of the video device so that's it voice guys for today until next time bye bye that's it here is the character by character link read aloud for you. H T T P S colon slash slash D R I V E period G O O 
G L E period C O M slash F I L E slash D slash one 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 has been repeated three times but you have to type it out only once X L three five capital P capital T capital R C capital V three N nine eight capital L capital Q P one N capital P capital I capital S capital G capital U J K U eight P R capital C one capital F slash V I E W question mark U S P equal sign D R I V E S D K Hi everyone. If you like my video, so please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any doubt, then you can write it in the comments section down below. I will try to answer it soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.